Hey YouTube, I'm back uh, with my second part of my Kobe Bryant autograph recap over the years. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a uh, half of the picture that my dad's friend did for me in color pencil. And uh, as you can see, this is he did this for me in 2001, and I had Kobe sign it uh, right there, as you can see in black sharpie. I kind of wanted to use a paint pen but I wasn't sure how it would turn out so I you know you can never go wrong with with the sharpies so yeah I had him sign that he's actually working on a Kevin Durant photo for me so I can get that signed in February when they come so yeah and that's um, the picture it's really he's a really great artist and then that's the as you can see and then the next thing I have is a signed basketball he signed Kobe 24. It's on one of the indoor outdoor ball. For some reason, I think the the cheap basketballs sign much better. And this is actually on a paint pen also, so it actually came out great. There's no breaks or anything on it. It's pretty much a solid autograph. And then uh, the next one is a Kobe Bryant 24. He signed his full name. I asked him if he could do that. He actually did it. It was, he was really cool about it. Um, I kind of didn't get him on the sweet spot. You know, it's in the sweet spot, but um, I wanted him to sign it right there, as you can see. It's, uh, but you know what? It's okay. I'll take it. That's the full signature in black Sharpie. Came out really good. And then this one's probably my favorite basketball. Um, signed it in black. It's actually um, an official game ball and not just an official game ball, it's actually from the Lakers 2010-2011 season. So this was actually game played and uh, I actually bought it off, off um, the Lakers site. They did charity. So and then I was able to get Kobe to sign it. And I actually did get it on the sweet spot finally in the, where the best part. And those are the, my basketballs. Kobe 24 on a game ball. Kobe full sig on a composite. And then Kobe 24 silver on the ball. And then the next thing I have is a pair of game worn shoes. Um, I believe it's from the 2000, let's see, yeah 2007 season size 14 is which is the size he wears. I was able to get these from him. And then the following game they come they came twice, so I was able to get him to sign it. It's kind of a weak sig, but it's okay. It's not a problem. I was able to get him to sign it, which is sometimes it's really hard to get Kobe, so any Kobe autograph is worth getting. And you can see it's game worn, game played. The other autograph on the other shoe is actually much better. These are really sick shoes. I like it. You see Kobe. And then um, another year I was able to get his armband. Which he doesn't wear these anymore. He wears his arm sleeves. So it's really cool. It's really been worn. Yeah. And then... Um, 2010 I believe yeah is when they this is the 2010 year where they swept the Jazz in the playoffs at Utah um, he had like 32 points in that closing game so uh, uh, my brother and I were sitting down there just talking to one of the, the employees at the arena while everything was getting cleared out and uh, so then the cleanup crew was starting to clean everything up and put the chairs out chairs back in and uh, once the bench was clearing out uh, you can see all the players um, cups and water bottles and all that and and uh, the, my friend who uh, worked down on court side he doesn't work there anymore and uh, he and I were talking and I, I noticed some of the water bottles and I asked him if if he can hand me those two um, that were really close to us 
by the bench because um, I knew Kofi was sitting over there. I was watching him during timeouts and seeing what he was drinking out of and just, you know, just watching. And uh, luckily, the water bottles that were there were Kobe's. I know that's kind of a uh, little too much of a, fana a fan, but I thought it was kind of cool to get those water bottles. He laughed at me, but you know what? It was kind of funny. And then here's the other one. As you can see, 24. So I was watching him. He was he for sure drank out of these. They were right where he was sitting during timeouts. And uh, the reason I wanted these, because you, um, if you remember, um, I can't remember the player's name, but he was his nickname was Gonzo, and he played for the Diamondbacks. Uh, somebody kept his gum, and it went for like 500 to a thousand dollars. So I thought. Hey, why not, right? But I didn't, haven't drank out of them. I haven't done anything other than just have them sit on my shelf with the shoes and the armband. So, anyways, uh, so that's all my Kobe collection. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, um, you're welcome to leave some. Thanks for checking it out, and hopefully, the Lakers can get a win tonight and start getting on that playoff contention. Thanks for watching. Later.